Hey guys, and welcome to my inaugural episode of WTBD, What's the Big Deal? Today's topic is UFO disclosure. Now, a lot of us are fans of science fiction, but what if it weren't fiction? And actually, belief in UFOs is a lot more common than you might think. In fact, when I asked you guys whether you believe in life in outer space, about half of you said yes, saying that the universe is so huge, it's hard to imagine that there isn't. But have they actually made contact with us? Well, the consensus on that was a little bit less clear. To find out more though, I went to UFOCon in San Jose. This was a two-day conference of researchers, activists, and experiencers who insist that alien life not only exists, but has made frequent contact with us. And almost all of the attendees had a first-person experience to share, some describing actual crafts. Where a ship materialized and appeared in front of us. It was a direct communicated contact. And what did the ship look like? The ship was a bright orange glowing orb. And others, visitations by spooky figures not unlike those Graylians that we know from pop culture. Um, one was about four feet tall. One was about three, three and a half feet tall. The big one had his hand on the shoulder of the little one. They looked at me, I looked at them, and the next thing I was doing was I was running. But it turns out that UFOCon is a lot more than just a support group for experiencers. For others like the historian Douglas Dietrich, evidence of UFOs are just one of many events willfully withheld from the public. If people were to get the disclosure that he is demanding, if that were ever to be honestly and fully given, what would shock the American public would be the fact that um, the situation is so much more complicated than what Americans like to perceive it. The he that he's referring to is Stephen Bassett, who is a political activist and registered lobbyist working on the disclosure issue. The disclosure event, as, as it's defined in the advocacy movement, is, is a, it's an event, it's not a process, it's not small d, it's capital D disclosure. And that is when the world's heads of state go in front of their people and acknowledge that the, there is a non-human intelligence presence here. And back in April, Bassett organized the Citizens' Hearing on Disclosure in D.C., where dozens of witnesses, among them former military or agency workers, gave testimony on the subject of UFOs. First call was to report unidentified uh, lighted objects flying above the facility. Minutes later, the FSC phoned again and reported in a very agitated state that there was a large oval-shaped object hovering above the front gate. Presiding over the event were six former members of Congress, and also attending was Paul Hellier, former Canadian Defense Minister who has publicly stated his belief in ETs. But has anyone currently in office expressed support? Publicly? Yeah. No. Even privately? No. There have been a few in the past, but very, very rare. Uh, and almost none have engaged the issue, but a few have. Despite this, Bassett is optimistic that now is the right time to engage the government and the public on the issue of whether or not there is life outside of Earth. You need to hold hearings on this. If those hearings are held, the truth embargo will be over in 60 days or less. It definitely sounds like many of you guys are willing to entertain the issue, but do you think that governments should or need to address the question of alien life or life outside of Earth. Let me know what you think on Twitter at Annie Gauss or on Facebook also at Annie Gauss, where you can also send me any of your story ideas, feedback about the show, more to come along with eventually a new set. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you soon. Bye.